Why do Japanese people wear these masks? I see this question pop up in the comments sometimes. Why do some people wear masks and others don't? Why do the girls wear masks? Is it because of the pollution? Today, I'm gonna to give you the seven reasons why Japanese people wear masks. So I went down to the local chemist this morning and bought a whole lot of masks. So moving on. Reason number one, colds and flu. I think that's the most obvious reason, really. I mean, imagine you're on a packed Japanese commuter train and you can't take a day off work because nobody else takes days off work and you have a cold and you don't wanna sneeze all over the person in front of you. One other thing too is it's not considered rude to sniff really loudly here. <laughs> So if you do have a cold, you can sort of get away with it just by uh, wearing a mask and sniffling all day. On the other hand, obviously, if you don't want to catch a cold, you wear a mask. So here's this one. Look, 99% cut filter. That does not fit my face at all. Pulling my ears off. This is too small for my big foreigner nose and chin. All right, I think that one is uh, too small for me. When these sorts of paper masks became cheaply available, it just became more popular to wear them. Also, back in 2003, there was that whole SARS thing. They became a lot more popular back then, too. This is actually the one I use. I usually wear glasses, and this one has... See there, it has this foam thing, and it's meant to stop your breath coming up and fogging up your glasses. But it doesn't work very well. Reason number two, it protects your face from cold wind. A couple of years ago, I was at the Tokyo Auto Salon, which is usually held mid-January, and I met some Finnish guys there. And believe it or not, they said, wow, I can't believe how cold Tokyo is. I was like, dude, it's minus 20 where you're from. So when even Finnish people think Japanese winter is cold, you know it's cold. I think it's something to do with the Pacific Ocean being moist, cold air, which just cuts into your face like a knife. So if you don't like the cold, they have a mask for you. It says hot marshmallow. It says it warms your face up to 1.6 degrees warmer. Well, they come in little packages. Yeah, it's very thick and quilted. I wonder if this one's going to fit. Actually, that's quite nice. I don't know, I'd rather wear one of these and have to put on chapstick all the time. You might be thinking, why do they just wear a scarf? I don't know. I suppose once you're done with this, you can just take it off and... Reason number three, and this is the one for me, pollen. If you have hay fever, do not come here in spring. Hay fever is a real issue here. It affects so many people, including me. Here's why. Forestry has been a big industry in Japan for a long time, for hundreds of years, obviously, because houses and everything used to be made out of wood. Long story short, after World War II, there was a big campaign to cover every piece of land they could with plantations of this Japanese cedar tree. Forestry used to be a big industry here, but these days I think they get most of their wood from places like Canada and Southeast Asia. So as a result, there's these huge plantations of cedar trees now just sitting there doing nothing. And every spring now, they cover Tokyo with this wave of pollen. Okay, go ahead and shake it. <gasps> ah! Hay fever is called kafunsho in Japanese, and that is the kanji for pollen. Kafun. I don't know, this one just looks like a pretty regular mask. Ah. I might keep that one. Reason number four, you're not wearing any makeup. So out of all the masks that I bought, Three of them were specifically for ladies, so they probably won't fit. So imagine this, you just want to go down to the convenience store or you're late for work and you think, I'll just put it on in the bathroom when I get there. Here's the first one, it's got moisturizer and it also smells like roses apparently. Don't open things with your teeth. Dentists are too expensive. Ugh. It smells like your grandmother's bathroom. Wow, this one actually fits me. Like, it, it smells how that package looks. On the other hand though, just say you have got makeup on and you don't want it to rub off on the mask. Well, here's one specifically for makeup. Oh, I see, look, it's got a wire there. Oh, actually no, it's off my, it's staying off my lips. So if I was inclined to wear lipstick, this would be a good idea. Next one, reason number five, for fashion. There's a couple of things to talk about here. It's actually designed and cut so that it makes your chin look thinner. See, all the regular masks are just square like that. But this one here, yeah, look. See, it's rounder at the bottom, so... Okay, here's the slimming one, and here's the regular one. That actually works. Right, that's one type of fashion. Also, sometimes you see people wearing black face masks. Let's have a look on Amazon. There you go, black mask. That guy's wearing colored contacts. Oh, they've even got uh, camouflage ones. I guess if you want to look like a trendy ninja. Also, this is sort of one of those things that, you know, moody teenagers wear and, you know, it's like, leave me alone, don't talk to me. Ah, see, there's the, uh, there's the pollen thing I was talking about. Also, I don't know where to fit this one in, but I bought a kid-size one too. Yeah, it's really cute. 
Well, I can cover one or the other. There we go. I have to wear two. That character's a really popular kid's character. Which is funny because his arch nemesis is actually a virus. Have you ever slept on an airplane and then got a sore throat and then got sick, which then ruined your entire trip? That's what this is for. See this? This is the mask. It has a little pocket in here and you open up this little packet and there's like a moist sort of pad in here. So it sits inside there and even if the air in the airplane is really dry, which it usually is, uh, it stops your throat from drying out when you're sleeping. Me sleeping on an airplane is face mask, eye mask and noise cancelling headphones. Like this is what I look like usually. Yeah, anyway, I like these. I recommend them. They're called Nodo Nuru, which means uh, moist throat. Moist. Next one, reason number six. You're a YouTuber. Wearing a face mask is a pretty good way to protect your identity. So if you're the type of person who likes to do performances of some type on YouTube uh, without your workmates finding out you have some sort of weird skill or hobby, that can be a pretty good way of doing it. Like for example, people like this who do these anime song dance performances and would rather the comments be directed at their performance and not how cute or not cute they are. Well, maybe he doesn't want other people at the bank to know that he likes playing bass covers of uh, anime songs. That's enough YouTube for today. And reason number seven, you're a Bosozoku. Bosozoku like to wear those old school cap style helmets, but the problem is the police can see your face. So if your bike and the way you ride it isn't necessarily 100% legal, might be a good idea to cover your face. And a mask is a good way to do that. Gotta get all this mask stuff off the table. This was so much fun last time, I'm gonna do it again. Mail time. Oh, Lex, you're just doing mail time because you want to get free stuff. All right, let's start with the biggest one. Texas. Holy crap, how much stuff is in here? Ugh. I don't own one anymore. Although technically I never did, did I? It was an 8.5. So this is a care package from whatmonstersdo.com. They've sent me a bunch of their shirts. All right, now I don't have to buy any shirts. Car industry people out there, be honest. What percentage of your t-shirts did you buy and what percentage did you get for free? See, the funny thing is this is cool here because it's American. Jay's X100 on net next edition, please. Oh, it's a bit cold, I'll wear it now. Whatmonstersdo.com, thank you for hooking me up. Okay, next one, look how pretty this is. To Alexi, love chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. This one's from the UK. This one's from a guy called Melike Ahmed, who comes to Ebi every now and again. He used to work at T2, which is the tea company. So I said, could you send me some tea? And he did. Earl Grey. Oh, that smells so good. Mate, you absolute legend. Sri Lankan black tea combined with the citrus delights of bergamot. And a whole bunch of, like, T2 samplers. English breakfast. Milky, thank you so much. I'll see you at Ebisu next time. This one is from Finland. I know who this is from. It's from Kimo, who is probably Finland's biggest fan of Noriero. Oh, you didn't send me salmiaki, did you? All right, we got uh, magazines and candy. Finnish Jaffa Cakes. Phaserin Parhen. I don't know how to pronounce that. Tyrkisk Peber. I gotta stop opening stuff with my teeth. Oh, it's spicy. And you have the weirdest candy in Finland. It's like a gummy mushroom. What the hell is that? Oh my god, that's so sour. Ugh. Kimo, why are you trolling me with candy? This one's shaped like a car. Alright, Finnish candy is weird. Kipparim Pipu. What is this, like a, a pipe? Now can be an old Finnish grandfather. Perkele! Alright, next one. Magazines. Yeah, they would be driving on snow, wouldn't they? Next one. Oh, it's like a tuning magazine. Hey, a drifting event. That's cool. They got Mark IIs and Supras. And there's a few other magazines in there. I'll, I'll check them out. I'm assuming this is like a best of the 80s Finnish pop music. <laughs> Thank you, Kimo. All right, next one. This one's from Newmanstown, PA. Is that Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania. And it's from Smile Factory. Lots of stickers and a note 
Alexi, love everything you do. Hope you enjoy the stickers. P.S. I really hope the Japanese I use is wrong and silly and hopefully makes no sense. It's kind of cool. Uh, Namerakana style. Sliding style. I guess it means that. This one, I have no idea what you're trying to say with that. A whole bunch of little bunny mascot stickers. Uh, Damien, thank you for the stickers. I'll be putting them on the skyline. So thanks so much to everyone who sent something in. The address is in the About page on the YouTube channel. That's all for this studio show. So in the meantime, uh, here's some more stuff for you to watch. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Click on one of these next. <laughs>